Hey, welcome back to my channel. So I have a stickle haul. <laughs> um, I placed another order on scrapbooking.com for a few more stickles. They came in last week, I think. Um, and I just haven't gotten around to showing what they look like. So um, I did a haul video when, with the other order of stickles that I placed. And I just thought it might be helpful for people to see what the shades really look like. Um, sometimes it's hard to tell online, especially with those little tiny images. They're not super detailed, so it's kind of hard to see. So I thought I would just show you guys what um, stickles that I grabbed um, while they were still on sale. So this one is Gunsmoke. And it is like a gray, silvery gunmetal color. Um, the next one is Twilight, which is a blue, kind of a deeper blue. I've used a few of them. I used a couple of them last night. This one is Glam Pink. It's so pretty. Glam Pink. Next we have Stardust. I like that one because it's like kind of the the glitters are different colors. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick them up or not. It's hard for me to tell in the viewfinder if they are. That one's Stardust. Then we have True Blue, which I think is really pretty. I like that deeper blue color. Makes me think of the Madonna song. Um, this one is just yellow. And then we have, I think this one's Raspberry Tart. I think this one is super pretty. I like it because it's got that blue tint to it. So that's Raspberry Tart. Really cute. This one is Silver. I didn't get that one in my first haul. I thought I did, and then I guess I forgot. I, there were so many, you know. And then here's the Silver compared to the gun smoke, just so you can see the difference. The Silver is definitely lighter. Then the gun smoke. Um, next is Thistle. That's a really pretty purpley pink color. So, Thistle. Um, Enchanted. This one isn't, isn't super sparkly. Maybe out of the bottle it might be, but it's like a little bit, but not super sparkly. Sorry, there's less glare that way. That's Enchanted. Um, lime Green. I used this one last night, and um, I colored a picture, pic, picture, not a picture, a picture. It was a Deborah Muller, one of the Magical Witches, and her, um, I had colored her uh, stockings and her um, fishnet arm sleeve thingies, uh, lime green and black, so I put that over it. This one is rhubarb, which is kind of a um, a pinky red, a little bit deeper pinky red. I think this one is kind of close to the cranberry. Let me let me find the cranberry. Well, maybe they're not. Okay, so this is cranberry. I had this last time, and this is rhubarb. Yeah, those are really similar. At least to me, they're looking similar. So this is rhubarb, and this one's cranberry. They don't look too different. So you wouldn't probably need both of those if you didn't want them. Not that I'm telling you you don't need them. Far be it from me to enable you all. Um, this one's rose gold. To me, this is a little bit orangey. I would not call this a rose gold. I was slightly uh, disappointed in the shade of it. Um, I have so many makeup eyeshadows like uh, that are called rose gold, and uh, they are true rose gold. To me, this one is a little bit orangey. Uh, next we have, oh, I already showed that one. Okay, magenta. Here's magenta. This one's really pretty. This is peacock. I think that one is super, super, super pretty. Really glad I got that one. I don't know. I don't want it to be so light that you can't see. This is another stunning one here. This one is Tropical Tangerine. Love this one. Deborah Muller has a um, Tropical 
coloring book coming out soon. I think it's like maybe another month or two. Uh, I don't know if it's if it's um, mermaids or not, but it's like different tiki type girls. You know how those girls she draws, and I'm like, oh, this is gonna be perfect for that coloring book. So. I can't wait to use it on that one. And then lastly, this one's Orange Slice. And if you want to see the uh, Tangerine next to the Orange Slice, so this one's Tangerine and here's the Orange Slice. So this one has more gold in it. The Tangerine has more gold. But I say you need them both. That's just my opinion. <laughs> and then I got um, two... Two more coloring books since I did my coloring book collection video. I've accumulated two more. Um, this one is one that Jen showed in her um, coloring book haul that she purchased when she was at Disney World. I believe it was Disney World she went to, not Disneyland. Disney World. And it is the Disney Princesses coloring book, Princess coloring book. Now this looks different than hers. The cover is different, but it's the same book. So the same images on the inside. I really wanted that coloring book after she showed it. Um, and I have the hardcover Disney 100 Princess Images or 100 Images for Creativity. You know, that one that so many of us have. And then you like you order it and you get a little disappointed because it's a lot of those repeating patterns. Um, way heavy on the repeating patterns, not very light on, or very light on the princesses. So um, I did pick this one up and I plan on coloring in it later today actually um, after I get done with what I have to do today. And so I want to say a big thank you to Mona. I appreciate it so much. She, I was, I have a friend that um, is a pass holder to Disney World and I had sent her um, a screenshot of the video, uh, you know, where Jen showed her book and I said I would like that. If you can find it, I will PayPal you the money and, and the shipping and, um, and then um, Mona, she came across um, an eBay listing and she posted a link to it. So I did purchase the this on, off of the uh, eBay link. And so I really appreciate that. It was really exciting to be able to get it. So, yeah. And then I picked up this. I was on the lookout. I had mentioned on a couple of the coloring groups, I was on the lookout for a Barbie coloring book because I love Barbie. Barbie is my favorite. I'm not so into the princesses. I like the princesses. I think they're fun and they're pretty and everything. But if I had to choose between Disney princesses and Barbie, I would pick Barbie hands down. Like Barbie is my girl. <laughs> so um, I was looking for a Barbie one and I found this actually at Dollar General. It was $3 with a 25% off coupon. So I think it was $2.39 and it's quite thick. And it does say coloring an activity book and it has a few things like um, a word search or um, you know, two pictures side by side, show one that is, pick out the differences, that kind of thing. But for the most part, it's all, um, like here's a, a word search, but then right next to it, there's a, a coloring page. And um, there's just a lot of really cute pages to color in here. Of course, it's a kid's coloring book, so the paper is kid's coloring book paper. Um, I don't think that's a big deal. It amazes me the number of people, and, and I realize that we're all different, you know, and we can all, we all like different things and everything, but when I see a page I want to color, I don't care whether the paper's crap or not. I'm going <laughs> I'm gonna make it work, you know, that's just how I am. I, I love, you guys know that the Deborah Miller books are like my favorite, and the paper on those is is okay it's you know it's thin but I love it I find a way to make it work I use my Crayola markers on it and that works beautifully I just am not gonna let um paper quality determine what coloring books I use but that's just me you know it's we're all we're all different we all have our own um you know our own preferences and choices and stuff like that so there's just really really cute images and this book is full of them it also has um, stickers in the front too so so that one is called the barber barber <laughs> barbie coloring and activity book with stickers and on the side of it it's called follow your heart just so you know if you if you decide you want to look for it um and i found that at dollar general so really excited to have that but that is it you guys um thank you so much for watching i hope that you get some stickles and you know what for people that have asked about stickles because i just assume that everybody knows what everything is and then when we were talking about stickles on the various coloring groups some of us people would ask well what is it well how do you use it in coloring and i should have brought 
one of my books that I just used. But anyways, um, these are little glitter glues and they have a tiny little opening there and you just squeeze the glitter out, the glitter glue out, and you let it dry. And because it's so fine, you can use like a, they make a really fine line. Now I have obviously the arthritis in my hands and I can't squeeze this. It's too hard for me to squeeze. So what I do is take my uh, little palette that I put paints in and I squeeze out a little bit into that and then I take a paintbrush, like a very thin paintbrush, and I use it to go where I want to go. So um, if you have issues with arthritis in your hands and you can't squeeze these, the bottles, don't let that stop you from stickling the you know what out of things. Because <laughs> stickles are fun and we all need stickles in our life, I think. And also there's other options too, like I've showed these in a different video. I have um, these glitter glues that I purchased at Michael's and I think they were a dollar. You know, they're, they were maybe a dollar or two dollars, and there's one, two, three, four, six of them, all different colors, blue, pink, purple, gold, silver, green, you know, and they were two dollars for six of them. Also, I posted some pictures recently where I found some at Five Below um, in little bottles that look like this. They were not stickles, they were a different brand, but little bottles that look like this, uh for two dollars six in a pack for two dollars they had like a like a set of neons and then they had like a set of regulars that had like gold um silver red blue green and pink i think or something like that so there are other options if the stickles are um you know not something you want to invest in or they're difficult for you to come across because i did have to order those on scrapbooking.com my michaels does not carry them they have something else you know but um they didn't have the actual stickles so so there's all kinds of options if you know you you just don't want you don't know if you're gonna enjoy using them. So so get something cheaper. I think um, I've seen some Crayola ones. I think Jen has showed those on her channel, and I've seen them at, at my grocery store. You know some Crayola brand glitter clues. So um, there's all other options out there if you're interested in you know glitterifying your coloring. <laughs> all right, you guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch and make me a part of your day. I really appreciate it. Feel free to question or comment below and I will get back to you and I'll see you in the next video.